All right, in this video, we're going to walk through how to use Number Pro with InDesign to create a number document. In this case, we're going to be uh, creating some tickets and we're going to be numbering them in InDesign using Number Pro. So let's launch Number Pro. There's our user interface. And for this example, we're just going to be starting the numbering at number one, and we're going to number up to 250. Now, since I'm numbering up to 250, let's uh, actually let's change this to 200, just to keep it as simple as possible for this uh, uh, example. Um, since we have three spaces here, we're going to put three spots into our numbering. That way, uh, the first number will be 0, 0, 1, then go all the way up to 200. Repeating amount is uh, 1, and we're going to lay our tickets out, as you'll see in just, uh, in just a second. We're going to lay our tickets out 8 to a sheet of paper. So the document itself is going to repeat 8 times per sheet of paper. And for the prefix, let's use um, Let's just use the abbreviation for number, N0 period. We're going to put a space there. That way our tickets will be, uh, each ticket will be uh, N0 period, and then the, followed by the number. Now when I hit start, and it says OK there, Number Pro has just created a file called output text. This was just created right as we hit the, uh, start button of uh, number pro this is the file right here that we're going to need in indesign every time we use number pro the program will create a new file called output text so for future reference if i'm going to use this same layout over and over again i could actually just rename this we don't have to i'm just going to rename it and we're going to rename it tickets Eight up, um, one to two hundred. That just gives me an idea of what, what what that file is all about. And for me, that means tickets eight up, and the numbering is one to two hundred. Okay, it's very simple. Now we're going to launch InDesign. Now InDesign, I've already created a template for myself because my tickets are already pre-designed. My tickets are two inches by five and a half inches. So as what I've done in InDesign is laid my, my, my grid work out to input my tickets eight up on a sheet of paper. So let's go ahead and just uh, put the tickets in place here to give you a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to find where my file is that I have my tickets. Oops, here just a second. There's so much going on here. There it is. I created this uh, ticket as a PDF, but I mean you can use any program to create your ticket itself. But there's my ticket, and we're just going to rotate this bad boy and put it into place. So there's my ticket. Um, I'm going to move this down just a little bit. There we go. Now I just did this as an example to show you up. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these and just copy this all over again. Okay, so there's my single ticket on a on a, on on Indian Design. Now I'm going to copy this eight different times and lay it out just like I had my grid work. And the copy fe feature on um, InDesign is uh, Control C and then Control V again will create another will create another copy and this is in Windows. So I'm just going to take a second here, put all my tickets back out, just be patient with me. All I'm doing is hitting Control V, which is creating another one. 
Okay. So there I have them laid out, eight on a sheet of paper. Now I want to create another object box for my numbering. So I'm going to create one right there. And this is the box I'm going to duplicate seven more times. So this right here, using my text right there, I'm going to click inside the box to get my text dialog box up here at the top. I'm going to make my ticket my ticket numbering red. So I'm going to choose red right there. Um, let's do a 14 point. Minion Pro is fine. Uh, let's make it bold though. And then I want it to be centered. I click centered there. And then I'm going to pull this down just a bit to keep it, get it from the top there. Okay, let's see. So we've got our red, we're centered, bold, and Minion Pro. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, control copy, and I'm going to paste it seven more times on each ticket. So control V. And the good thing about InDesign is you have these smart grids that help you line this up, put it in place here. Pull this down. Now, for my purposes, I'm just going to eyeball this. You may want to pull down some smart grids or smart guides and, and uh, line this up a little bit better, but for this example, I'm just going to wing it here just to give you an idea. Okay, and there's my text boxes that I'm going to be using for my numbering. Now, the whole purpose of Number Pro is to use it as a data merge. So if you don't already have a data merge uh, panel open, you can find it in the latest versions of uh, InDesign in Window, Utilities, Data Merge, and there's your Data Merge panel. Click right up here in the corner, right there, and select Data Source. Now here's where you're going to have to maneuver to where you installed Number Pro. Now, since I've already used this before, the lab used it last in this program, it automatically opened up that particular folder. And as you'll see, this is what we renamed it. We renamed it at the very beginning, tickets eight up, one to 200. It's gonna be a text file. That is the file I want. So we're gonna open that up. And you'll see numbers one through eight. Our prefix is NO, just like we wanted, and then our numbering one through eight being eight up on a sheet of paper. So we're just going to click in this first box, come back over here, click on number one, come over here, click on the next box, and then number two. I'm going to do this all the way across. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, and scroll down a little bit, number eight. That's it. Once I have all those there, click the box right here at the very bottom. See where my cursor is right here? That'll open up the Create Merged Document menu. We're just going to hit Delete All Records. These all checked. Hit OK. It's going to merge these. Give it just a second here. I should get my OK screen, basically saying there's no overset text, which means everything is good. We're going to click OK, and as you'll see, it opened up a new document, and there's our numbers 1, 26, 51, 76, 01, 126, 151, 176. I'm going to close this panel right here just so you can see. And if we scroll down, you will see that it automatically generated. There's number two, 
number three, so on and so forth, all the way through. So this document is now ready to print. Very easy. We just took a simple, uh, 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 we took a simple text file created with Number Pro, did a mail merge in InDesign, created our tickets one through. Scroll all the way down here to the very last file, and you'll see number 200. So this will actually print out sheet after sheet after sheet. Once they're cut down to size, you will then have 200 number tickets. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.